The three angles on the backup camera are pretty useful and they're very easy to get to. So with the car in reverse, you'll notice you'll have, of course, what's behind you. Um, if you press the enter button, you'll be able to see multiple views. You can do this while backing in as well. This view is known as the wide angle view. This is useful if you're backing out of your garage or if you're backing out of a parking space and you can't see the the dial right uh, right on the side of the vehicle. So you'll know if a car is going to be passing you up. If you press enter again, you'll have a more accurate perspective of what's behind you. Um, this is very useful, again, if you're backing into a car behind you, you'll be able to gauge more with the distance between you and that vehicle. Pressing enter again allows you to see a top-down view. So that's actually the ground. The tip, what you see right there where my finger's at, that's the bumper. So you can actually inch yourself away to another vehicle's bumper. You don't have to predict anymore how far away they are. You can see everything while it's happening. So by toggling between each of the three views while backing in, it makes parking a lot easier. And again, that's why I don't rely so much on my mirrors anymore. Of course, use the mirrors because they're you know great features to have in your car, but the mirror will not tell you what's right behind you because that is what right is what right behind you. The camera will tell you what's exactly right behind you. It's going to tell you the moment you uh, you get close to something, of course, and you'll be able to see if you did tap something. So that's useful when you're parking in the city where parking is more scarce. And that's it.